gone slow enough to do it. 275. No. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Pioneer Village. You guys are with us here today. Race number three. I didn't even do the board here today, but race number three, 275 aeronautical miles. That's as, as the birds would fly. We've got guests here. People are back at the races here again. It's packed again, and people are having fun. We're still waiting on Carlos. I don't know if he's coming or not. But we've got Stan, Mark, Frank, and Jerome. And I'm going to bring on uh, the driver. I'm going to bring on the driver, the landing board. Here we are. Reminder, guys, to like, share, and subscribe. And as you come on, if you have questions, slow and steady. This could be a long one today. So we'll wait for the people to come on. <laughs> Ricky, how is the drive going? It's doing good here. I'm south of Barry. Traffic's moving good now. And a beautiful sky. But it looks like you got a little bit of a tough east wind here, right? Eh? Northeast wind? Yeah, winds are very strong here out of the east. Again, I'm hoping that we are on YouTube and Facebook. It says it's connected, but we'll have to wait and see for that as the people's comments come in. Um... Yeah, it's strong winds. It's like a, it's like a 10 plus strong wind. Yeah. Now on the way down, I was a, I was a little bit uh, shocked. Um, I got down to uh, 16 kilometers or uh, 10 mile an hour uh, north of Latchford, and I hit, start, I hit the fog. And the fog went from there to about 30 miles north of North Bay. So that would be, I would figure, about 50 miles they had to fly through thick fog. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so I, I think this is going to really set them back. I, I got a feeling you won't get a bird before 6.30. Before 6.30. Yeah. Well, hey, we've got chicken, soup, booze, and pigeon men. And most of the time, we don't get them until 6 o'clock anyway. So it looks like it's going to be pretty good. We might run out of vodka, but that'll be okay. Uh, Quentin from uh, France, he is with us. Man, he sent me some, some photos of uh, some of his pigeons there. Uh, a small flyer. Uh, at the French-Belgian border. he got some really good birds from Eric Lindberg. Uh, howdy, thanks for tuning in. Guys, if you can hear us, please post your comments. Let me know that you are on. I know we are on on YouTube. I see that we are now on on Facebook. People are starting to climb on. Graham Moore says, how many birds in the race? Uh, was it 77, 77, 78? Bruce Dickinson, YouTube is good. Thank you, Bruce. We, we missed Bruce today. We thought you were going to be up there in, in Englehart today. That's okay. Maybe in Matheson next week if they come home. <laughs> Always say that, eh? You got to kind of knock them down a little bit. <clears throat> but uh, lots of fog. Now, Ricky, people ask fog. Was it treetop fog or was it like pea soup thick? Uh, I can't see London Bridge fog. It was mostly that pea soup fog, yeah. Pea soup yeah. thick fog, yeah. Yeah. And, 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 yeah, that, you know, if it did get to treetop, it would only be like for a couple miles and then it would go back to, you know, about the height of the windshield. Right. Um, and for people wondering, they've got a, a shoulder tailwind to a shoulder wind. Winds are out of the east, very strong. Uh, the east is the shoulder in the wind. It's more shoulder than tailwind. Uh, uh, what do I expect? What? Uh, uh, ask. Yeah, go ahead, Ricky. Let me ask you, when did that wind start up here? Because up there it was like five kilometers, five or six kilometers, uh, which would be only like three miles. It was almost nothing. 
Um, here it's here you could dry your laundry. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'll I'll be honest. Yeah. With you, what the, the plants are blowing on the bottom of the ground? Like you, you, if you had no socks on, you feel the wind on your feet. So yeah, she's good, good so, and str- what, strong winds. Uh, the birds got to be. The birds now are what? At six hours? No. In uh, exactly four five minutes, hours. it'll be. They're five hours and twenty minutes on the wing. Yeah. They could come early, but uh, I, I think if there was no fog, we'd be in the time now to start waiting. But uh, with yeah. fifty miles of pea soup, I can't see London Bridge. Yeah, as, I can't. As, uh, as, I, as I, Frank Icorn did, he rolled his eyes. So that you know what that means. It's gonna be a long one. <laughs> unless they could have gone above that fog, like maybe uh, maybe a fifty feet or a hundred feet above the tree line, there's maybe it wasn't any fog. You know? Yeah, we don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we don't know. You know? We don't yeah, know. and again, like Frank said, we, we don't know really how high, but he knows it's pretty high because it was thick when he was looking up at it. Ricky stopped and looked dead up. He didn't see nothing. No, he's seen carrots and potatoes floating through, you know? <laughs> Actually, Frank, go take a look at the soup. And it's going to look like... Oh, 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 look at that. I thought it was winter. I thought it was winter. <laughs> Uh, so, so Thomas Smith, 275 miles. Uh, I guess you could say we're starting to get into that time. We always like to come on a little bit earlier to, to start the festivities. Yeah. I mean, I, I've trained, I've trained in fog before, but not in uh, 50 miles of fog, you know? Yeah. And the other thing was. It was 50 miles. Pretty consistent. It seems like we never get a straight run at anything. Yeah, I, I wonder if that uh, board and bond uh, uh, club they liberated today. I'm just wondering. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if board and liberated did. today. They liberated at nine, so they have. Uh, they're 60 miles behind us. Where were they in Cochrane or Matheson? Cochrane. So Cochrane's they're, they're, supposed to be. So let, let's see. Let's see. Let's see if their birds 60 miles further, they're going to have 60 miles more run at the fog if it makes a difference. Yeah. 100, yeah. You're going to have 100 miles more at it. But we seen last week they had 100 miles to run at the rain and the rain stopped them like a, like a wall. Well, we don't know, you know, there might be a couple birds just push right through that. I don't know. Yeah. They say they, they try experiments with pigeons blindfolding them and they say they come. Uh, we are doing very good, my friend. Where are you watching from? I can't pronounce your name because you got the cool writing, so I can't pronounce it. But I'll say friend to you as well. Uh, so, hello, Aiden. How are you? Again, we are at the loft. 275 miles. That's, what is it, 430 kilometers? 450 kilometers? How much, how many kilometers is this? Yeah, 430 kilometers. Is that what you fly to? Yeah, we're, we're dead on a line, eh? So this is the fourth race, average speed. We got the average speed winner. He's here as well. The average... It's not the fourth race, it's the third race. Yeah, this is our third race. We've got one more race to go. Yeah. But our, our average speed current leader is here. Actually, Stan was in the room, and Stan was hoping that Mark wasn't going to show up. Because if he didn't show up, it was a for sure lose. I know the same with that. Ah! Oh, yeah? We, we, had, we had 77 ready to go there for Borden. But don't worry. We'll fly it again. 
Uh, hey, brother. Hey, how are you? Where are you watching from? Again, guys, wherever you're watching from, let me know. Where are all our Americans? Where are they sleeping? Try that soup. Yeah, you can. You can. You can try. You can put the. Uh, Take what you want. Good luck. There's some butter there. I put that on so the flies don't land on it. We got more people here. More people are coming on. Brian, watching from Ireland. Great race. Very resistant of North Road Racing in South Ireland. Yes. Hey, how's it going, Brian? I look. I look forward to going back to Ireland. Hey guys, if the if the soup, I hope the soup's okay. No, normally, I normally I like to make it a day before, but I made it this morning. Yeah, I like it a day older. It's like lasagna. No umbrellas needed today, says Stuart. We listen. We have no guarantee about that one. But no, there's no rain in the forecast. But funny. I was gonna say, when there's east in the wind, we normally have rain. And don't worry, guys. I got I got more soup in the house too. Okay. Take what you want. Ham and potato. Yeah. It should be good. Oh, he'll like it. Fuck, it is good. I know. I'll, I'll tell you something. I, uh, I did pretty heavy on the ham. You know what I? You know what I like kind of making stuff like that because it it's it's hearty, it's filling. You get a little bit of differentness. I don't know textures. Yeah. You know what? The bones in a little piece of the bone. I put even in there. Cook it with the bone. The, the ump. Here, here's the guy who's going to win it today. Will with Little Rock is going to win. This is what he's saying. Where's my soup? I'm just eating a pizza. Welcome. Brian Mansker says, hopefully good. Brian, I'm going to talk to you today. Brian, don't feed him today. They don't need feed. Easy with them. Sorry, Brian. I tried to call you. I had Stan here. I had people here. Take the feed away and let them sit. Good soup? Damn right, eh? And again, as I said, everybody that was at the board, and it looked like they were having a great time yesterday. Some great food looked like it smelled good. They're all welcome here as well. Okay, Brian, if you want to give them anything today, just give them some all-in-one. Let them eat the all-in-one and relax. Same thing. Leave them in that room, Brian, with the curtains closed and leave them alone. Don't bother them. Don't let them out. Don't ask of them to do anything. What I'll do to keep heat in, I'll go back in here with it. Thanks for the bread, Frank. This is the bread we like too with it. <laughs> As we wait. What do we got here? Soup and cheese. Murph, I'm gonna take you upstairs. Come on. You know what he wants, eh? He wants he he he, he likes to sit with my mom. He wants to get a little out of the soup. No, you know what he if you give him if you give them ham, they get the squirts. Come here, Murph. Come. There you go. They, they get the rust. Yeah, they do. With soup. Anyways, guys, here's the guy here. This guy's a culprit, eh? He won the, uh, what's the dog show there in New York, Dad? The, the, what's it called? The Westminster. It's the only chihuahua to win it. You want it outright, chocolate merle, best in show. Come on, Sydney, come. Come on. I 
Are you okay? Okay, so why don't you come outside for a sec? You get hot, you start coughing. Uh, two stuff. Okay, hold on. Okay, you know, you know what you do for a minute here? Come outside here in the shade. Just let the wind hit you. Come on out. All righty. As we wait. Oh. Tracy, how are you? Hey, how's it going? Jay-Z, how are you doing? Josh Tripley, burnt dogs. No burnt dogs. Oren Lofts Garcia, greetings from Texas. Good luck, thank you. Worth it? Remind me, a lot. last year I did it, I think, a day before. I'll have to give you the recipe. It's, it's the easiest to make. Sometimes I like it a bit thicker. As we wait. Well, guys, while we're waiting, now is the time to pick your speeds. Pick. What's the speed at right now? Let's look at benzing. What does the speed say on benzing? Fourteen fifty-five. Okay, so we're gonna give a hundred dollars on the benzing speed. So hold on. Fourteen fifty-five on benzing. Fourteen fifty-five. Benzing says we're flying yards per minute. We're gonna give a hundred dollars away, cash prize. Hundred dollars out of my own pocket. Hundred dollars if you can guess the exact speed. So, you know, 1321, 1142, you get one guess and you get $100. You get one guess, $100. If you want a second guess, you got to send me $100. Robert Daughtry says, Ricky, seven times just past uh, five hours and, and 32 minutes. Okay, Robert Daughtry. How close is Ricky? Ricky, how far are you away? I just got off the 400 coming across Highway 9. Go look. On the wind campaign, it's, it's different. I'm just looking off of this one because I don't have that. I can't look at it. So it, it doesn't matter. Meters and uh, yards, it, it's the same. It, it, it's not the same, but there'll be two different numbers. So if you want to give me your Yards per minute. Yards per minute right now is 1449. Ricky, what's your guess? What oh, yeah, yards per minute? I I I'd say I say six thirty two they'll come in time. Six thirty two. Okay, so hey, you guessed your time at six thirty two. I, I don't know what that'll be, but She's going to be slow, real slow. Okay, let's look at some of the guesses. That's fine, Ricky. You said 632. In time, that means your yards are right on. So Will says 1175. Heather McTavish. Guys, round of applause. Heather McTavish, last night, he called out uh, the lady that attacked me. She spelt the word unt in a whole other way. It was a remarkable. She's getting a sweater for that one. Heather McTavish says 1256. Uh, Michael Peevler. Michael, is this your guess or the elves? Michael Peebler gets two guesses because he's got to ask the elves. 1223, Michael Peebler says, we'll wait for his elves to guess. Uh, 1069, says Brian Mansker. Jason Mihalik, all the way from Calgary, Edmonton, Saskatchewan, British Columbia. He guesses 1198. And Tracy, Tracy must have loved The Price is Right because she's going 99999. 
Joseph, Jay-Z, he's been a bit quiet this year. He's been a little, I think he's got a little sour shoes, but we still love him. He says 1250. I'm going to say, I'm going with the speed of 825. <laughs> Figure out too. Can you figure that out? I don't know. Maybe I can ask Stan. Hey, Stan, are you good at figuring out speeds? Ricky says he thinks the birds are going to come at 623, but he can't figure out that speed. Same as last week. He's going with the same time and no rain. No, I said 632. Hey guys, here's another another pioneer guy on Gregory McFarland. Hey Gregory, I hope you're doing good. I like to see that you're on, my friend. Bruce Dickinson says 986. As we wait, how far are you away, Ricky? About 15 minutes. Yeah, when you come in, uh, go check on uh, Mom. Right. Uh, oh, and there's chicken there too, eh? Frank? Good enough. I just got to get out here for a yeah, whisk. Yeah, not a problem. What does? Good soup, eh? You should see, guys, when you go to Europe, they got sandwiches there. Okay? They're on these nice little rolls, like this. But what they put on, they put the, the meat. So they put the greens, they put carrots, sh shaved carrots, and they put always hard-boiled eggs. Okay? Now, you'd think it doesn't work on a sandwich, but the eggs almost act like a, a cream. Like, it, it's hard-boiled eggs, but they're ch 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 chopped. And the carrots add that extra, because you know how carrots kind of sweet? It has the crunch. They add always a little bit of mayo or a little bit of sauce. Oh. Uh, literally, I go, just give me a sandwich. Gregory McFarlane, he picks six hours and three minutes. Greg's coming up to his time. John Willis, John, where are you watching? Gregory McFarlane, where are you watching from? Bruce Dickinson, where are you watching from? John Willis, you say 1,050. Mm -hmm. 763 is Ricky's velocity. Guys, what we'll do for bones, all the bones... Put them in the cup, cause, cause the uh, actual, huh? No, no, cause I'm gonna give them to the cats. <laughs> We'd rather feed the cats than the dogs. Uh, Ryan, Pop is out of the truck peeing. Hey guys, sometimes Ricky's got to go to the bathroom. What, what, what are you gonna do? No, there's not too many people that can drive six hours straight and not go to the bathroom. Again, guys, as we wait, I want to thank you for tuning in today. I want to thank you for participating today. Paul Cooper says 1100. Good job. Good job. Good job. Hey guys, thanks for guessing. It helps make it fun. And, and when you guess, let me know. Paul, where are you watching from? I've never seen you on before, but you put your guess in. Now, 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 that's in meters or in yards? Okay, that's in meters. So in meters right now, we're running at what's the speed? 12. So in meters, to give people an, an idea, meters are running roughly right now 1265. And in yards, they're flying 1424. So it's, a, it's about 200 difference. And, and this is why we have Stan here. I was going to stick Stan up in a tower. I actually had one picked out just about Bracebridge area to stick him in there all year, give him beer and all kinds of stuff. He was going to give him a sleeping bag. But then there was something about him. You know what I knew? He's a hell of a damn good guy. So you know who I thought we should stick up in that tower? I think Jerome's going there. 
Paul's from the UK. Simon Woolley. Is that not the best? Simon Woolley. That's the best UK name ever. Simon Woolley says he's got to be from the UK. Eight, uh, 1,038 yards per minute. And again, guys, if you all want to guess. If you all want to guess. Oh, oh. Something happened there. Something happened there. <laughs> Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. All right, we had to take we had to take Ricky off. Ricky, we had to cut Ricky down. Ricky had a. a Yeah, we have Mark Brown measurements. We used to have them. Yeah, good old Mark Brown. Big circle. Lift. Hold on. I, I want to adjust everything here, guys, for you guys watching. There we go. So as we wait, I'm going to get back to the comments. You guys keep guessing. Gregory McFarlane is from Florida. Paul is from the UK. Simon, you're from the UK as well, correct? And there is the link on Wind Companion. Wind Companion's in meters, correct? Wind Companion in, is in meters. Benzing clock is on yards. Don't ask me how it all works together, but I didn't come up with this shit, guys, and please don't come after me. To the other and one. Jerome, good soup? Okay, good. The guys, there's chicken there. Eat what you want. Well, yeah, that's right. The chicken should be better than the soup. We did we did pork chops last night. I cooked them for a minute on each side. They were thin, right? They were completely raw in the middle. They're fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, same thing in Japan. There's a restaurant that does... I believe it's like sushi, but chicken, completely raw. Well, no, they, they kill the chickens themselves. So they, they say it's perfect. When, when, normally when I do the chicken around the bone, I always have blood. But I didn't do it with those. I left them longer because mo- they're not how we do it. Because <laughs> I, you know what I can't stand? And I worry if that that is, but I I always worry about people. I, I was cooking for, I was cooking for Carlos. I really I really wanted to see him come today. Somebody call him. I don't know. That pigeon's awesome. Woo. Your your pigeon. I'm in between still. And Brian Mansker's 100. I think it was Thursday. You asked Brian. Holy shit. She was like a, a fireball. Like perfect. Last night? Come down. And you know, sometimes it takes them to rip and rip and rip to get it to do that. But. No, I think sometimes they need to rip so much. Then they need to rest. They need to eat, and then all of a sudden, she comes out. Now, this bird could be perfect now next week. It could come back up again, but I don't know. If it makes it back from this. If. You know, they always say in pigeon racing, and even in life, if is the, the smallest word with the biggest meaning. So it's a weird little word. It's It's the if. You know, it was funny. We were we we were what we were watching that. I was watching the Titanic there with my mom, and and the lady puts her kids into bed as the boat's sinking. And I, I don't think she was a she wasn't a first class. Yeah, but you'd think that she could have got off with her kids, but it, it's like it's that's an F. Yeah. And, 
There's a time when you know. Mark Carnwell, is he going to win the average speed? That's the big question. He's in the lead. He's leading. He's leading. People have made voodoo dolls of him. People have made voodoo dolls of Mark Carnwell, and they're stabbing him with blunt feathers. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just tell you as it is. Frank Icorn is here. He brought chips. He brought some lunch meat, some bread, some Pepsi, and he has a voodoo doll of Mark Carnwell, and he was jabbing him. He was jabbing him with a pigeon's foot, the nail of a pigeon's foot. He was jabbing it, and they're and they're sitting beside each other. What? Oh no, it's a chipmunk. We're in chipmunk hunting season. Go pioneers, go! They're close enough to the Guys, l l let's be honest. A chipmunk and a mouse is not nothing alike. What? Sydney, you having fun? All right. As we wait, we got the charger on, and there's no rain in the forecast. Watch, Ricky's going to pull up here and the fog's going to roll in. <laughs> That's what happened last week. What, did he pull in and, what, three minutes later, torrential rain? When, today? In Hamilton. How do you know that? That's fine. You got birds there, eh? In Hamilton? <laughs> we, we... Well, they're flying Matheson. Well, we should... What time did they let them out with Matheson? So we should have them before all of them. Technically, sure. Yeah. There's no pressure on us today. How do you know where you stand in average speed? So... Um, I don't have a device here to show you. you you're going to go on to Wind Companion. You're going to hit the Pioneer. You're going to, when you see the headings at the top, click results, and the thing's going to come down and say average. Wait a minute. Can you do me a favor? Can you look up the Willie B? The name's Willie B in averages. Stan's going to tell me where this first bird is. How many years or days or moments or hours or minutes is he behind okay. the champion mark? And yes, guys, if you don't like Mark Carnwell now, if his bird comes first again, you're all going to fucking hate him. I get it. Willie B, his first bird. Stan's going to help you out, Willie. This is why we got him here. Average speed, there's the link right there. Leah's got it in there. Thank you. But there's the link, Willie B. Leah's posted it up for you. Number 23. You're in spot 23. Yeah, IF, 68 IF. Yeah, that's Little Rock. How many minutes behind? Five hours, I would say. Eight hours and seven minutes behind Mark Carnwell's pie. So today, basically it's one race. But don't get down on that because Mark could crap the bed today. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. I got to, hey, listen. I got 75 other birds that are trying to beat you. <laughs> Hey guys, it's very rare that I see a bird go wire to wire and win. And this is only four races. Ian, Ian Sybil did eight races wire to wire. And on the ninth one, his bird landed at Ross McCarroll's and the guy you're sitting beside beat him. <laughs> see, but that's how it happens. Mike Green says, you know what? If I'm... Yeah, he put it on, uh, Ross put the bird on Facebook. He knew the, he knew the bird. Guess what the best part was? Ross came to strike off, and he brought the bird after it was dark. If he would have come in his daylight, he could have technically let it out and beat you. Mike Green says his are way behind. Could, could, could you tell me where the greens are? Huh? I know the name of the pigeon. Do you remember it? Oh, the one from Ian. No. Last year? 
Ian was leading again to the last race, the gay pie, the Marco Mattis gay pie. It never showed up. Boom. He got beat. It, you know when it comes? It comes one. No, I'm telling you, you're in the worst, the worst position you're in. And actually, you're even really worse if this thing comes good now. But there's only one thing I'll tell you if your bird comes in. If your bird comes today good, it's now handled rain. It's handled he- fog your and east fucking wind. You're only in 18th. You're in 18th, Mike Green. 102. Shit, I don't want to see 102. I don't want to see 104. I'm going against you with your own bird, Mike. Five hours and 42 minutes behind. Is that doable? 100%. Hey, guys. By the way, guys, I'm going to tell you something. I've flown Inglehart in five and a half hours, five hours and 15 minutes. I've flown it in seven hours. Very rarely, very, very rarely have I been over seven hours to get a bird from here. We're coming up to right now six hours. The longer it goes, the birds that are further in the average speed are going to do better. Trust me. Again, I... The one, the one race I wish the most luck on is the board and bond race. I hope that race gets great returns. I hope everyone, there's got to be over 10, 10 to $15,000 in prize money there. We donated 5800 in prize money. How do you know that? Stan, I don't know what Stan's doing. Don't knock the cords over, Stan. Holy shit. Don't piss on the outlets. Don't piss on the outlets. Ricky pissed on it one time. It was completely electrocuted. Hold on. Oren, Lof, Garcia, what time they scheduled to arrive? Well, <laughs> we only do that. I'm going to be honest with you, uh, Oren. I got no clue. They hit 50. They flew about 40 miles, and then they hit 50 miles of the thickest fog on planet Earth. Reminder, guys, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions season number five begins. And I want to post this up for you guys. I want to, I want to show you some stuff, some big, big, big stuff coming along here. Here you have the Perth Amboys. It's a super event in Perth. If you, hey, you want a napkin? Here, i get you one. Not bad, eh? Hey, you're very welcome. Perth Amboys, we're having an appetizer, an appetizer. Come to the event. Come to the event and handle two birds from each breeder. There's 17 breeders represented. Us, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions, myself, and the breeders have selected these pigeons for this live event. So you have a great experience. So you get an appetizer. You get to see... What pigeons are like from Belgium, Holland, the UK, Germany, Belgium, the United States. It's never been done before, but you're going to get this opportunity. And you know what? I wanted to go to a place where I was when I was 18 or 19 years old, Perth Amboys. It was the greatest little pigeon auction I ever went to. There were so many pigeon men. It was a 10. So... I'm going to go back to my camera, to my camera here first. Organek, or Rob, beer and deer. He's saying beer and deer, deer and beer. Good luck, good luck. I think they may be home. I think they may be home six hours and 38 minutes. Good guess. I can't wait for the auctions to meet you. I can't wait to meet you as well. I keep reconnecting to the internet, so just be calm, guys. We got some more auctions coming up, guys. I'm going to post this up. Also, in December the 9th, take a look at the five people on the screen. In the top right corner, you've got Geert and Leandra Munich, 
That's the father-daughter team, the Super Sprint Pigeons from the north end of Holland. I have been there. I've represented them multiple years. Their birds have gotten results not only here in Canada in our one-loft race, but in Victoria Falls one-loft race, they're getting results. Uh, in Kuwait, they're getting results. Small loft, great results. The father-daughter team of Geert and Leandro Munich. If you look a little bit to the left, there's the legendary Emil Denise. I don't have to say anything about him, but uh, the, the, the godfather, the ambassador, the pope. Let's, let's get, call him Moses, Jesus, God, and uh, hell. One of the best pigeon men on this planet Earth, Emil Denis. Just underneath Emil Denis, again, <laughs> third generation, Anime Van He, those, uh, those deadly reds, checkers. Winning in one loft races, winning today, winning, winning, winning. And uh, all of their friends to the right, Xavier Verstrada. Wow. You have a chance to meet all of them in Perth Amboys, December the 9th. Back to me. Paul Cooper says 1,100 yards per minute. Is that where we're at now? Nobody knows. We're still over that, says, and guys, don't screw me around. I got Stan here. Oh, yeah, Stan, what, what, what was your job, Stan? My job is a designer, He designs women's lingerie is what we just found out. Yeah, the crotchless. The crotchless stuff is what Stan's into. Again, guys, if you're single... Stan, uh, Stan will help you out. He'll hook you up. As we wait. The wind has come. Yes, the wind has calmed down. Well, we're not up there. We're down here. Let's get back to the comments. Leah, if you're watching the 922, remember the 922, okay? I want you to remember that. We just broke 1,200 now. We, we just broke 1,200 now. That's meters, right? I always like to have a little bit of fun. No, just, would you just stop with your yards and your meters? I, I, I don't understand. Why, why don't we just... Just, well, maybe that's why those guys in the fucking streets are always quiet. No, you, it doesn't. It's only two hundred difference. Well, two hundred still. Thanks, not six. Two hundred still. Listen, I'm not. I'm not here to knock on Mr. Andy. He's a champion. Andy, wait. Should we say this, guys? Should, yeah, wait. Guys, you want to hear some bullshit. Listen to a bunch of pigeon men do math. Will says he's got to thank you for the design. Well, I'm, hey, I'm glad I never had that problem being four inches short. <laughs> hey, hey, hold on. Did you see the guy last night that was in my face? The little one with the... Oh, the one... You remember the little guy? You better leave the property. You know what his problem was? When he was born, he was four inches too short. Uh, of my assault last night? Oh, I will never take it off. What, our video? Oh, they got their own video, oh, yeah. Well, you know what happened? When you give people money and they take it away from you without a reason. But it, you know what I know the best thing about this is? Do you think we're going to stop? I'm going to board next year to buy every bird again. As we wait, guys, these birds are going to come. I shouldn't say that. They probably won't. Mike, Mike Parrish. Mike, where are you watching from? Cavender, go 
go yes go get your guesses in a hundred dollars if you guess the right speed it doesn't matter you can pick meters and yards well I can only look at yards well everyone can get double but they got to just I, no, just just keep it in yards, guys. Keep it in yards. <laughs> Nobody knows. Listen, I can't do it anyway. Is it more in yards or less in yards? It's more in yards. More in yards. It's faster in yards. Dave Shaw Putnam, he's in the house. Watching from the Hoosier. Mike Parrish is watching from the Hoosier State. Let me ask you, Mike, when she was burning, could you see the flame the flames? Oh, as we wait. Dave Shaw Putnam, they're all they're all playing for the Hundos. I still remember that. Hundred dollars if you get the yards per minute right. A hundred dollars if you get the yards per minute right. Hey, hey, hey! You don't have to put it up. Just put it there on the ground to the end. We are we are playing for a hundred dollars Canadian money, guys. This stuff does look like Canadian Tire money. I like miles an hour. I don't like kilometers. As we wait, you can feel that tension running. Can you feel it running? Murph, come on, Murph. It's okay. Are you feeling okay? Do you want a little, there's some soup there. Do you want a piece of chicken? You want one piece? What do you want? No, no, take that there. It's warmer. The one there is better, okay? I always hate when they crinkle their tail. Four time winner. Oh. Well, it's leading sun that's beating down my neck here is causing a, a higher temperature in the bird. Well, we pushed him into the heat. I'm not worried about heat. The one thing I won't worry about is heat. But this east in the wind, he's going to ground him to the end. This is the, this is the end of the end. Huh? You do well, but you don't get good returns. Hold on, we're going with chicken. Here, Mom. Here. No, we have so much of it here. I put that on low in there, and it's stuck, eh? Just eat chicken, okay? Come on, Murph, come. Mom, call him. Come on. Look, you got a treat. Here he comes. There he goes. Mike Sheridan says right now it's 1177. 
as we wait. Want some more soup? <laughs> you try the chicken fry? And the win was in your favor. And but you know if, when it comes to fishing, they all say I ship eighteen and seventeen on a day. This team, I think, uh, is an east wind. Uh, About one hour from Chicago, says Mike Parrish. Here in America, everything is miles an hour. Because in America, they're right. I'm sorry, but I like miles an hour. Hey, Sydney. I do. I love yards. Thanks, Frank. You know, Frank, you're a real asshole, eh? You know, the worst part about this is my buddy Dave Conover is not on the show. I feel like I'm doing this without Dave. Dave Dave's pie didn't come last week. I'm down a, I'm down a member. I'm hoping this camera's not going to overheat. What I am going to do, guys, for just a little bit here, so we don't overheat the camera, is I'm going to move the camera. Okay, you're going to you're going to see all the pigeon guys as I talk, and you got the board. We're going to cool the camera down for about ten minutes. Dave's not here. Where is Dave? What? Ah, son of a bitch. You know what? He's beating him every week. He be, and, and he stops to piss. And you know what? If, if, someone's, if someone's flagging somebody down for a flat tire, he'll change that tire, eh? Guys, he's Ricky Seven. There's only one of him. I've tried to, I could sell him to China. <laughs> Large money. Why? Why don't they ne I never beat them. Why don't you the services guys? Yeah, the problem is he's not good with sticks. A million, a million yen a day. A day. What is that worth? A thousand bucks. <laughs> no, we just want to meet Kim Yum Yong Yang Ying. You were there. Were last night? I was there last night. I, I watched, eh? A Hitler's wife trying to attack me. No, it wasn't that, was it? I thought it was. No, I no Hel helmet. I thought Hel Hitler. I thought helmet, Hitler, close. No, I wasn't. I, no. Well, somebody called her a clump. Was it a clump or a clumpta? Called her a Tuesday. I didn't know what the name. And, but it's funny. The day before we were there. The day before we were there, they were, oh, hi, how are you? <laughs> you know what they say, eh? Like the old Mario, talk out of the left, talk out of the right. But that is a... I never, I've never been to a pigeon event and was so attacked. I was beaten down. Oh, no, no, no. I started and I finished, and I gave them 5,800. I didn't even. I just walked in to ship all your birds, all of your own birds. Rejection. No, no. Hey, hold on. Not only did they take out my money, they took all of our money. And I was a little disappointed at the guys that were there. They just watched the bombarding. Take the lead. As we wait, there is. I think 
Hey, guys, guys, I'm not going to say nothing. Hey, the be- the- I'm going to tell you, the real pigeon man here, though, is Stan. He was here before 1 o'clock. He said to me, he said to me, no, he said to me, you're going to get him at 122. Now, I crapped myself, and I said, I don't know what race you're watching, but not this one. And I'm not against it. I, I just, but you didn't know about the fog, so it's okay. Watch out, Sydney's coming. She's our guard dog. I, hey, hey, Stan, I'm only playing with you. Uh, because they are all sheep and scared they might get kicked out. Oh, maybe. Actually, you, you want me to tell you? Yeah, you know what? They had a, let's say, a, I would say a 40 mile run. I couldn't shut that up. He's listening to the show. So they, they had a 40 mile run. So they, uh, I don't know if you've seen the camera when I showed it to you guys how there was a haze. You could see 30, 40 miles away. Yeah. He, he right. showed the haze. Yeah, you he showed the haze. Distance, right? So they seen that. So they must have had to go Russell out. Cavender. Who's Russell? Are you related to Mary and Robert? Let me know. Van Zoran Alfred says, Hey, Frank, why does he say hi to you and not me? Alfred, I'm not your friend anymore. <laughs> I saw that that little man who rotted at you. Oh yeah, uh, um, Alfred, he was at the auction. He was, you know, he put his nose in the crack of you. Remember the little guy? Anyways, hey guys, next on the Monday Night Family Show. We have a challenge for De Silva. We have an actual challenge. <laughs> Alfred, hey, say hi to your dad for me. How are your kids doing? How are you? Hey, how's that little loft doing? I haven't heard anything about your little loft. Because you hate to be sitting there and you ask the guy next door, hey, buddy, can you put me in? Hey, there's, there's only five tells you to Hey, I know a guy running a one-loft race. He doesn't wipe his butt. Cock with fingers. Uh, Mike Green, they have no class. Uh, thanks, Mike. Mike, I, I really hope, Mike, I get to, I, I got to meet you one of these days, and I can't wait to. We're going to just. I don't want to, I just want to hang out and have some drinks. That's all I want to do, Mike, if that's cool with you, uh, you and Heather. And I'd love to, if I could ever get a chance to come to your place and have dinner, I think Heather can crush out a great meal. As we wait, two left from that box, but good one. So you got two left. Uh, okay, wait, wait, hold on. K Man's got a question. Why is everyone com- Guys, K Man doesn't hate us. He might not like us yet, but he's got a question, and I'm going to read this. Any of your guests that you have over now was at the board and shipping last night? No. Yep, Mark was. Mark was there. So we have one. We have one. They're my parents. Hey, Russell, they're your parents. Mary Mary and Robert Cavender. Take them to the, the Amish uh, thing in Pennsylvania, the, the thing. I'm from Texas. Oh, shit. Hey, thanks for tuning in. You want to what? No. Didn't feed anything. He's fighting. He's fighting. He's anyway, fighting Helena. So I'm looking in the I'm looking in the mirror and I can see this tractor trailer. Herman says, "Seems like you are having a great party. Hope the pigeons do well. We hope." 
Ooh. Well, hey, one left. It, it's it's okay. I, I'm not against that, and it's doing good. Ask him. Ask him how much shit was talked about you. Was there any shit talked about us? Was there any shit talked about us when you got there? Are you sure? You you don't have to tell me, but was there shit talk? Apparently, there was no shit talk. Well, they're not allowed. Always remember, eh? You think he's still... Hey. I asked. He said there was no shit talk. Hey, hey, Mark. 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 Don't fuck with me, eh? Okay. All right. I'm not afraid of you. Mark, Mark, okay, so anyways, I'm, no, there's only one person I'm afraid of here. You know who it is? No, it's fucking Stan. He's mathematically inclined. <laughs> hey, from the Philippines, reality of it. So he's a sheep. Oh. oh. We're having fun here. Ron says, I haven't seen such childish behavior. Since high school. You know what? I, I, I just, I think it's a bad look on the pigeon sport. But, you know, I've talked to Alfred. And, and for you guys wondering who Alfred is, right here, the name Colm Van Zorn. Um, one of the very best small loft flyers uh, all around the Olympiad. Ace pigeon of Holland uh, two years ago with Olympic Henny. Uh, he has the same childish behavior where he is. Uh, we were never voted banned from the CU. The CU just told us we're banned. We never had a meeting. We've never done anything wrong to the CU, except we supported them since 1970, and when we needed their help, they would not come and support us. So we were never banned from the CU. They may say we are, but we have received since 1970 paying our dues for help against the up north combine, and that never happened. So I would say foul on that one. But maybe we got to get what's it called? Human resources? We might need some human resources onto that. I don't know. The sun came up as we wait. And I will rotate the camera for just a moment so you can see the people that are here. There's Ricky in his red shorts. Those are the sack shorts. If if Mark Carnwell wins the average speed, he's going to have to go naked in those shorts that Ricky is wearing. And what? look at how ignorant Jerome is. Brings his dog. Frank is gaining weight. You know what? You kind of remind me of a taller version of the guy that was in my face last night. Hey, do you know who uh, Opie was last night? The bald-headed guy, Opie. I think his name, he said his name was Opie. Fred who? Fresh, Fred Weenie. Son of a... He, he knew... Opie did. We're going to call him Opie. He come, he come right, he come right up because he was about the size of, he come up. He hit him three times and goes like this. Well, let me tell you what you do with those guys. It's so, it's so amazing. You know his name is Fred Weenie, Weenie, Weener, Weenie, Fred Weenie. He knew who I was, but they love to watch Daddy's show, don't they? They're learning a lot of shit, man. He was weaned off his mama when he was seven. No, no, he didn't wean. He wasn't wean. He still ain't weaned off his mama. He's got the the big man syndrome. Do you think that that silver pine looks good now? It does. It's getting to look better, right? Eh? Really good. Getting more silver. Ricky, Ricky, <laughs> more silver. It's only Ricky. It's only three twenty. Fucker, let's cut I it down said, and burn. Uh, it. I said six thirty-two. Oh, according to Ricky. Oh yeah, she'll be gone in a second. She'll will. She'll she'll be like, we're gonna light her up on New Year's Eve. Hold on. Shane Hoffman says you pissed off the wrong guys. Then, lol. It's the same everywhere. It seems like pigeon sport everywhere is garbage. Hey, that's like uh, what do you call it? Uh, drying corn. You know, kill drying. They call it. 
Like you let the cold you freeze have, it uh, and dry freeze right it. That's kill wrong. drying. You have the rights and the wrongs. Yeah, yeah. Kill drying. Kill you, know, you have the, the positive and negative good. side. Oh, you sure. Know, like any politician. When, we were, when, we were, when I was a kid, it's, it's, the college used to go back to the swamp. A two yeah, in the winter position. time, you cut the dead stand. Well, like. Down. Like, like Michael Peebler says, it's so funny that the, the only person that came to Henry Rotter's rescue was us. <laughs> and he, guess what? Henry Rotter's a CU member. <laughs> they did nothing for Henry as well. Where is Henry? Do you know there's times when I'll see Ricky go up that ladder? And I swear to God it's Henry. Hey, we did. We did what? Yeah, right? Well, the the year we, we the year we were six at the Oshawa with the bird pulled across the board. They disqualified our clock. They disqualified our clock. Oscar was the first four. Tony was five, and we were six. Pulled across. Mealy pied. Fucking bird in there. Ricky, we timed it. He went up and down. It was I think sixteen seconds. We did it on Facebook. What happened? I had to bring the band down. Yeah. Well, no, we took the electronic clock, but they they wouldn't use the they use they changed no, the modules. I had to get the bird and bring him down. Yeah, we we were, we were we were testing your speed. We, and actually, you made me do it on a bicycle to the school and back. And by the way, I'm not gonna lie, eh? I, I drove in. I drove into him you, a fifth of vodka. As you see, Ryan, the lights are on, but there's nobody home. That kind of reminds me of Mario. That light bulb. Does it rem not 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 Raya, the other one? Man, he's filling out that white shirt, eh? I never seen a guy at four feet tall and so wide. Well, I wasn't trying to get violent. I'm saying there was no need for it. No, but the thing is, they didn't let Mario or Raya, like the president, speak at all. Well, why? Right Mario de Silva. Well, Ma Mario de Silva. He if he just sniffs. <laughs> A little deeper. He can get his nose up everyone's butt. And my my bum, a few times he's put his nose up it. He did it with Alfred. Sniff. Oh, he, was he was here sucking, wasn't he? He here, see, suck, you know, suck, one, suck. You know, one time at school, public school, oh. I had some guy. See the old, the old yeah, say that. Look at Ricky talking. And uh, he wanted to fight me. He wanted to fight Ricky. Ricky's kickbox fighting fucking experiences. Anyways, guys, we're having fun. We're not. We're not knocking Mario. Mario had to stand up in the room. He had to. He wants to be the leader of the sheep. As we wait, guys, for the birds. You're a card. Oh, I'm not a card. I don't give really two shits, my friend. You know what? I I don't. You know, I went to school, and uh, I'll tell you a serious, an honest story. I was in grade eight. I was in grade eight. Uh, no, actually, I'm lying to you. I was in grade seven, and there was a a girl in our school, and she was about in grade two or three. She was in one of these. She there was. She was in a, a wheelchair. She was a paraplegic from her neck down, and you know she would come through the hallways and 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 she was in school and she was doing her thing. You know she's she's living her best life, and I would always help her. It didn't matter what we were doing. I'd always I, even if I was with my friends or kids or whatever we were doing, I'd say hi, hello, how how are you? And I didn't know that she had a sister, but I thought her sit. I didn't know this. I didn't know she had a sister. I did not have a clue about her sister. Her sister was in grade eight. And I guess through the through the years of me always being nice to this girl, I only knew her for a few years, the girl in the wheelchair. One day I was at a school dance and her sister was was like the prettiest girl, one of the prettiest girls in the school. She came up to me and she was like blown away. And she's like, do you know that girl? I'm like, oh yeah, she's really nice. She, you know, and sometimes she would drool on herself. And, you know, you go, hey, you know, you, you, and I don't mean that in a rude way, but we help her out. And, and that, 
And it was just, I'm not going to get deeper into the story than that, but it was, her sister was so nice to me. It was incredible. And she's like, oh, I didn't see anybody that nice to my, my, to my, my sister. They're always afraid or whatever. That's what it is. I mean, everybody is a, a human and everybody is trying their best and everyone's trying to do their best and live their best life and participate, right? Isn't that what it is, is participation? But a lot of people made fun, or I think people make fun because they're scared or they're, they're, they're silly. But uh, I remember that. And the name was Claudia Coco. That was the girl's name. And, and, uh, and I believe the, 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 the girl in the wheelchair was named Lisa. So it was Lisa and Claudia. And that was the, uh, that's the story. Yes, and thanks, K-Man. And again, sometimes we're going to agree to disagree. I think uh, we should have been able to put the birds on, and I think I think it's time to let it go. Past is the past. Arguments are arguments. Let's just race pigeons. Let's just race pigeons. I know all these guys here would have loved to see their pigeons compete in that race. I would have loved to. And next year I want to compete. Every year I want to compete. I love racing pigeons. And if I can't race pigeons here, I'll go to Belgium and race, or I'll go to England and race. I'll go to America and race, because I don't give a shit. I want to race pigeons. And I'll tell you, people, no, no, I, I never I never did date her. No, I didn't date her. But I could have, but no, I didn't. But very, very nice. Uh, it, it was very, very... very uh, Look, look at this group of special guys, eh? It's a special group. As we wait. I remember that one year we had, we had, I think we had a hundred birds finish our race and the people don't want them. You know how, how quickly I did it? In about five minutes. I had a garbage pail full. We threw them over the fence. Coyotes the next morning, gone. Oh, Mr. Daughtry, I'd love to come and race with you, my friend. As we wait, what's our yards per minute now? Guys, you get $100. Chinese food. Kensington Market. Twelve hundred and forty-four yards per minute. Shane Hoffman, lots of knowledge sitting around there for sure. Oh yeah, lots of knowledge. As we wait, hold on. Mike Vanderjak has got a quote. It's raining in Port Colburn. The question I still have for Mike Vanderjak. Well. I don't, I don't know why Stan doesn't bring Mike. Hoffel Offler says 422, they're going to come. We got years to go. This is like, this is like an Olympic run. The best of the luck. Shane O'Brien says best of luck from the UK. Frank is sitting in the living room. Frank's sitting in the living room. There Frank is. As we wait. Well, let hold on. As we wait. Which one? Oh, yeah, the, the other checker, if I bring him out, you'll feel the heat, the, the arm's done. Blew out the wing. Just flying in last week's 
drinks. What the hell's going on here? <laughs> Shot it's kind of funny. I got the camera in your face and you don't want to kill me. Could you imagine if the camera was only facing me? Unbelievable. Hey, guys, I have beaten up Frank before. <laughs> I have beaten up Ryan before. He did. He did this move. It was like the colossal uffler. He, he grabbed me by my neck when I wasn't ready. Hold on. That was a close look. That... Listen, anytime I want, I can take you down. <laughs> Yeah. Will, get ready. Get Ricky a wheelchair. A chair. Ricky, you want a chair? No, no, no. No, no, no. He's okay. Your phone fell. Your phone fell. You're going to stand on. Don't worry. He's got chairs here. No, no, no. It's okay. Is there pigeons on the roof? No, no, no. They're in an Avery. They're in an Avery. David, Dave, you still have pigeons? Rob says 13 minutes till the first bird. Yeah, Rob is doing shots of Jagermeister. And uh, you can see Jerome. When I say Jagger, Jerome sparks right up. His asshole shrinks to a decimal point. Jagger's good. I know, I was there. I seen you. Uh, Mark, Mark, you need more drugs. <laughs> you don't, you don't get this. If that fog is as he said it was, you might not see a bird today. And there's a problem with these birds now. They have a bit of what you call, no, they can, they can stop. They have no problem saying, fuck this, we're going to come tomorrow. <laughs> hey, I'm going to tell you something. If you train pigeons in rain. Do you want them to come home in rain? Do you know how you train them in rain? Draining, take them two miles. They finish the mission. Next day it's raining, take them five miles. They finish the mission. Make sure they finish. If you teach them to stop, what do they learn when it gets real tough? Stop. Let's see. And hey, by the way, they've been to 231 miles. We've seen pigeons that see that house roof? See that house roof? Pigeons that are ace pigeon in the combine push them so hard, they come home from the race, they sit up there, and they will not come in because they're telling you, you send me next week, I ain't coming. Uh, Mike Vanderjack, uh, Ricky, where did you start hitting the heavy fog? I hit it uh, 16 kilometers north of Latchford. 16 kilometers? like 10 miles. And here's the funny thing. I call Latchford. The girl at the gas station says it's clear. She says it's completely clear. Oh, she just looked out the window. It was clear up to the top of the car. That was my mistake. So... 16 kilometers north of Latchford, the fog is as thick as shit. Yeah, it was clear then. Well, you couldn't see above it, though, right? No, you. The fog was like this. Yeah. So, like, when you. Above the ground. Yeah. Fog. Again, guys, safety first. Ricky didn't hit a moose. You know, you almost, we almost got hit by De Silva last night. And Opie. I don't know. We don't know what his name is. I gotta call him something. Oh, you can just go on our page, man. It's, we never. My sister boosted the post, boosted it, put money behind it. Now, for all of you watching, Mark Carnwell is leading the average speed right now by eight minutes. By eight minutes, he's got the lead. And Mark Carnwell put 26 birds in. He's down to a few left, but he's got the average speed leader. As two. Okay. 
the, che the check the checkers with the cheeks. Nope, they're both mine. Right on the line. Right on the line. Mike Green, 102. And Ant Bar, 23918. Susie Q does it. Mike Green, Mike Green, and Mike Green. That son of a bitch quit earlier in the show. Troy, but Troy don't own them anymore. Huh? No, I don't know who Troy did. And, and and I said last night, basketing. I said this is where Troy will kick in. Did you buy that one? Good job. Oh, right on the line like thunderbolts. God, this is ahead of their time. Flying. Anybody guesses? One, two, two, two. Nobody guessed it because I would remember it. But Susie Q and Popper Popper, Mike Green kicks everyone's ass, winning $250. He was down on himself. He was out of the money, but he's back in it. Ricky's been disqualified. What does Ricky know? Hey, good job, Mike. Great job. Well, hey, you know what? I didn't expect it. With the, he said the fog, but now we're going to see how thick this fog is because they should start going like this. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, the feathers even smelt cooked. You can see it in. Wow, look at that length. A string bird. It's bent. Wow. Almost bent. So they do quite a good. They do hard. 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 Hold on, I'm going to go to the camera. There you go, Mike. That's for Mike Green, eh? Long but overdue. She did it. And if you look at the wing, she's bent. Take a look. Backwards. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Flight's bent. Backwards. Flights are bending back. That's hard work. Again, not molted the best. How's the body? How's the body? Smoked. Here, Ricky, pass it along through. Mike Green, congratulations. I, Mike and Heather, congratulations. I can't be more happier. The guys participated. And you know what? He was down. He gave himself the luck. Round of applause. One more. Four, four birds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Two, three, four, five. Look here. Yeah. Feeling good. Feeling good. Stan, you're there, bud. J and J Express. Stan, your bird's on the roof. Hey, wait, Frank, should we do it? Come on, come on. Stan's bird's on the roof. We're waiting. They're coming right on the line. Like, share, and subscribe.
You got to wake up. And you know what, Stan? You know what she, you know what she needs right now, Stan? Another bird. She didn't follow the group. Again, I'm going to take this out on Stan's training methods at home. <laughs> you were never out of the bathroom. And Mark Carnwell, his butt cheeks get tighter. <laughs> Say, Mark, I got to razzle you. You're the leader, brother. All right. Hopple Hoppler, third. B and G, fourth. N and R. N and R. Non activated bird is fifth. And Liz Atano from the boarding club. Hey, you better call Nick, eh? Hey, Stan, congratulations. Enjoy that, eh? There you go, Stan. All right. Seven. They're right down the chute, boys. Hey, I, I'm blown away with this east wind. They're holding that line. Because they're working in the wind. What happened to Rusty this year? Might go away. We're not talking about Rusty. Mike Green, awesome job. Russell Cavender, he's the son of a son or daughter. I don't want to screw this up. He's a child of the Cavenders, and he's even congratulating Mike Green. I am so happy for Mike. Wow. I'll bring her out for you in a minute, okay? Remember, we can't see their heart, eh? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the camera like this. Now, we got to get cachet, something from Frank. But the pressure now leads on this guy. He's our average speed leader. Mark, I told you, this is the one. If you get this one, you're... Who's leading now? Look, who's leading? Who's leading right now? Now you're in the lead? Go check it. Check average speed. Stan, check it on your phone. I still can't believe these pigeons hit that line. Hold on. Are, are you ready? Are you ready for this one? Here's the dig at the Borden Bond race. Here's the biggest dig. Mike Green's bird, he paid to have it entered into the board and bond race. Did he? Yeah. Well, hey, Mike. Well, we got to see the speed. Well, nothing yet a half an hour ago. Well, and again, guys, it's really sad that we can't keep racing against the, everyone, racing against each other. B and G is in first, and Stan is in second. So Stan right now, second in the average speed. Now this doesn't, this do, no, because your bird hasn't clocked. Your, your bird has to clock now. So he clocks. What are they? You're seven. Well, you you were ahead of everyone. You're you're ahead of a lot of them. Don't worry, Mark. 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 Somebody take Mark to church. We can't see how far you are behind. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's, it's not that easy. I think it was last year or the year before. Remember the few and Ian? Yeah. We were talking about that earlier. Hey, I'm, I'm very sorry, Mike Green, but we're going to do the our, our – 
the best that we can do for Borden for next week, our own little race. And Mike, you're going to, you're going to be there, Mike. Again, I still think the 104 is your best bird, but let's see if I'm right. Congratulations, Mike. Birds are coming right down the line. Right out of here, right on the line like thunderbolts. And Mike Green, with that type of molt, that's a super pigeon. Bullets. Coming down like bullets. Come on, little rocket. Yes, Will. Let's ro root on, little rocket. Who, yours? Oh. You'll be there, Will. Have confidence. So what was the, what was the, what was the, what was the? On that race ring. There's only one or one blue bar or something? Yeah, I'll check it. There's only two blue bars. One landed and he didn't know. Did you know it was yours or? And good job, Lizitano. Good job. Hey, hey, Mark. Mark, I'm going to be honest with you. In the next 15, 20 minutes, I expect your pigeon. I'm thinking the same. If this pigeon, if this pigeon is not here in the next 30 minutes, it might not come. Now you can call me an asshole, and I am one, but it's down to your pigeon now. You're sitting beside an average speed winner. You should be taking notes. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you're having fun. Congratulations to the pioneer, Leah, watching from New Brunswick, being part of the show. We got to get her on. Maybe we're going to get her on for the final show. We'll let's ask her to come on for that final show. If you want Leah on on that final show, post those comments in. No, she can't drive back. She, she doesn't drive. <laughs> Wait, Mark, do you want him to drive, 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 drive? What speed were we doing? Uh, uh, one, two, two, two. 1,200. Pretty good. 1,222. I never thought that in my life. Yards. Yards per minute. Yards. Well, go on, on wind campaign, it'll tell you meters. You know what? I, I don't. I'm not inviting Stan next week. <laughs> Stan invited it all up. We want Leah. Pickford finally. Uh, I gotta ask Leah. M Mike, did you pick? Did you pick the 102 this week, Mike? Mark, Mark, just, just fucking pray, cross your nuts. And you want, want me to? <laughs> Mark, hey, you know who, you know who won the Pickford? Mike Sheridan. Yeah, Mike Sheridan, congratulations. You were second? So the. Oh, oh no, your bird was there. Yeah. Stan, don't get me screwed up now. So Mike Sheridan is the winner of the pick bird. You know what? A lot of people hate Mike Sheridan. I don't really like him that much, but I'll say something. This guy showed up on Monday morning, sat here by himself while I was in meetings, and he, I heard him calling the birds in. Congratulations, Mike. He sat here. He sat here till noon. He was here at eight. Mike Green, you missed the boat, buddy. You forgot your bird. But that's okay, Mike. Hey, uh, Stan, where's Mike standing in the average speed right now? Mike Green. First, I hadn't picked her. I 
didn't want. Mike Green, here's your average speed. How far are you behind? 102. Three hours and 16 minutes behind, and we've got 325 miles of digging to go. So, Mike, Mike, what I need you to do is tell me that you're not going to win it again. Go ahead, Mike. He was eight hours starting it. Well, we're waiting for more birds. Well, we don't know this, Frank. Have you ever been in a sonic boom before? Remember what I was telling you? You know what I see in his mind? Okay, Magic Kraken, what do you see? Hey, guys, you want to know what I see in his mind? Mark, I see in his mind, he says, Hope those fuckers don't get any more birds. Hope lays birdies. Crashes and birds. Blows up in the blooming Hey guys, what's the diff what's the difference between Mark Carnwell's leader going into today and the birds that are home today? What's there's one difference. Smart. Nope. Time on the wing. Nope. They've done three races and Mark still has only done two. Oh. oh. <laughs> hey, there listen, you know Opie? You know big Opie from Borden? There's a reason why he watches this shit, isn't it? He's learning. <laughs> That's right, Stan. Hey, I never seen this on young pigeons. It's true. Look at the wind. Like straight. Straight. Oh, yeah. no. No, no, no. Look they're down here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Look. They're it's not straight. Backwards. Look. No, no. It's not straight. It's curved. It's curved. It's, like a it's bent. But wait a minute. There. Hey, guys. Take a look at the bend in the wing. Hey, Stan, she drank some water. Don't pass it to anyone else, but there you go. I wouldn't pass her because she drank. There you go. She's done. Oh, yeah. That could have been the move. He was drunk. Spent. I was Yeah. Yeah. Let me take it. But but I never seen young birds with that kind of wing. All we need is not me, it's them. Huh? No. That's doing the job and I'm saying thumbs up to the breeder that bred those birds in the first place. And now remember as Stan gets more brave. He has one more still to go, and Jerome sits on. <laughs> Jerome's going to win the average speed here. Watch this, guys. <laughs> Hold on. Kathy is tuned in from Chong Shelburne, Ontario. Good morning. How are you? Some say it's the armpit of the world, but they're known for things like the butterfly parade. Butterfly parade. <laughs> the crotchless stuff. Go. Does he, no, he act, hey, listen. Listen, when he's in uh, Hamilton, he's in the basement whittling. Oh, wait, again, guys, as we wait, we're going to see if we see some more birds. If we do see some more, 
I will let you know. But the tap seemed to have gone a little bit dry all of a sudden. This is where the fog separates the pigeons from the other pigeons. Ricky, there's chicken there if you want. Hey, hey they, 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 got, they got a bit higher. A bit higher. Now, what we might see here is in about 45 minutes to an hour, pigeons start boom, boom, boom. They did a different route. All I can say is Mike Green might have won the board and bond race. Unbelievable. And, and unfortunately, the board and racing pigeon club with the up north common, they took that away not only from us, but from Mike Green. And again, Mario Da Silva, he's welcome. Same with Opie. He's welcome to come into the studio. Good job, Brian. No, don't thank me. I didn't do nothing. Yes, I just did. flew your pigeons. You took them down the road. Yeah. There's one thing is, you can ask Frank. I've known Frank a long time. You can't, you'll never buy me. We tried to fly him right to the end, right? Frank's never said to me, hey, Ryan, pull him. Nope, never. We fly him right to the end. Now, Jerome, if you asked to buy the race, I might, if you have enough money, I might swing a deal. Mark already gave me a million bucks. And look at he's down in the eight ball. <laughs> oh. No, we're only playing, guys. Hoffalopler got his. Which one did Hoffalopler get? Stephanie? Yeah, he got one. Awful, awful. I hope it's a little Annie, but I don't think it is. Who is it? Awful, awful. should be there. What's the name of the bird? Uh... Reader, go all the way to the end. Cross. Oh, little Annie. Little Annie from Hoffalopler. I thought they were going to stone me a week before, but son of a bitch. She come back. She was, they, remember they had the, 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 they had the 80, first, first and second. The 80, first and third. The 100, first and second. And then we took them 160. Uh, I backed off the training and they went ballistic. But, huh? Lactic acid. Lactic acid. <laughs> Little Annie. Kathy says, hey, Rye Rye, Ricky, and Leah. I always love it when Kathy's talking like that. Stan? Where? Right by, way high. Riding the sonic boom current. Mark, visualize the win. Don't get down on this pigeon, Mark. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you, Mark. If if I see the parents and it's out of the Dean Pallet ones, I won the California Classic with the same pigeons. Or the uh, hol uh, sorry, the Holiday Cup. What, that same bird? Yeah, the pied up there. That the, the full sister won it. But that doesn't matter. That she didn't win average speed, but she was the final. I, I don't care. You know what? I don't even like Stan anymore. Stan, you're not welcome back okay. next year. <laughs> I love Stan, eh? Fuck, I hate pigeon racing like this. But you can see this is fog here. You can see this breaking up. You know why? Because he's over here and nerve rides. Right? It boils her. That bird is at home. If there was points. Right, well, yeah. It, it was. I think it wasn't on the first drop at the first race. Yeah. The second race, he kind of fell apart. And then this one, boom, he's right there. But you know how screwed up this race is? You see his bird lands in that group, but it's at the end, and he doesn't realize the other ones are coming in. 
and he gets cooked. Oh, but but you want to know what's amazing? I don't. No, I don't want to snort it in. I don't do. I don't do the powder like the short ones and the round ones and the. You know, picking powder is different. I was gonna say to Opie last night, fee five fo fum. What beanstalk did you fall from? I didn't want to beat him, eh? I didn't want to let a grade nine beat him in intellectual swiftness. She's a half sister to Peterbilt that flew the race last year. Vanden Bosch from Feathers Elite Pigeon Auction. First bird I bought from Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. Thank you. Vanden Bosch, the bicycle rider. We were there at his place, and, and, and Mike bought some birds from there. And I will be honest with you guys. Mike Green last year in our race, he didn't do anything. His pigeons finished the race, and they weren't high. He brought the bird home. He bred out of it. There's today's winner. What? When he bought the birds, he bred out of them. Oh. And and what I what I what I try and say to people when you buy an import from Europe, the first year you breed out of them, don't even look at the babies. If they breed you something good, congratulations. They take a full year or more. You will not believe this. I bought the Dean Pallet Van Reets when I was 19 years old. The first year, I brought 12 pair. Brought them home. They looked great. Cooing. They bred. I had 12 babies after three rounds. The next year, rum. The next year, rum. The next year, rum. But if I was a silly man, you would have got rid of a lot of good pigeons. And what does Emil Denny say? If you have the time and the space, give them four or five years. Oh, and by the way, the best fan reet from Dean Pallet, he was a cockbird, five years old, and he bred Miss San Diego. And then that was another chain of supers. Oh, and you have her, you have Miss San Diego's daughter or son. You do. That's the last one. There's no more left. Uh, the guy from Trinidad might want to buy it. I'll have to grab it from you. Give me the guy's phone number. You should see what he's doing in Trinidad with these pigeons. Right? Unreal. I'm going there. Why not? You're, you're, you're not breeding already, are you? Put for Doma. Hey, and you want to know the greatest thing? Do you want me to tell you the greatest thing? He got Miss San Diego's father free as a gift. <laughs> I gave it to him. I sent it to him as a gift. Bird was 15 years old. Okay. Yeah, I, I gave it because, hey, who wouldn't want to go to the tropics? <laughs> you know, someone told me once, someone told me once, his bird, the great-grandmother of his pigeon, when she bred the Holiday Cup winner, she was, I think, 10 or 12 years old. And they said old pigeons don't breed winners. Oh, wait. Okay, go on. Keep going. Mark, Mark, you want me to tell you what the sky tells me right here? It's your time now. You see the blue and the white? <laughs> That's what I've been seeing. It seems like it's a bit south. Hey guys, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. But we we hey, we see the birds that went through it. This now, hey guys, this now is a completely new race. Hey, this is the pigeons. We're watching now the pigeons that won't go through the fog. Mark, check mark. <laughs> I'm going to say in the next five pigeons, Carlos is coming. I want to see this Carlos pigeon come. Sorry, <laughs> back to you. <laughs> yeah, Fraggle McFuckstick. That's a, that's a bird that, you know what? That's a pigeon that hasn't won nothing, and it'll win the whole thing in the end. <laughs>
Oh, Stan? Stan? Let's call the Weather Network. Hey, how is she doing in there? One of these guys, I think it was the big one, hit me twice up here on the calf today. <laughs> Lucky the time we were in short was attacking me. Yeah. Hey guys, keep if you're watching and you're enjoying, let me know if you're on. Uh, if you have questions, please put them in. Big congratulations to Mike Green. You know what you got to do, eh? You got to get you got to get a couple for your house, Frank. They're they're great, eh? They're, they're just fun to look at. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What the dog went after the hawk? No, the rooster went after the hawk. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, the chicken went after the hawk, and the chick, the the rooster. See, the hawk only knows how to hit and go. Once the the hawk gets pinned, he he's not fighting no more. He's got no more powers. Yeah, he can get up. But you won't believe it. One time we imported golden eagles for a guy. Yeah. So you put. You put oh no, golden eagles from. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you have them. But I mean, importing. We were from where? They, they were from Hungary or from wherever. To, they were they were brought into Holland. Right here. That makes it good. Boy, they come good. Boy, they come good. I got a feeling in that boarding race, it would have been real well. Like I said, those birds ain't. Those birds know. Yeah. Those birds that came, they meant business. You know what? You know when they're on, and they're like thunderbolts. Here, I'll give you some of this stuff. We have, yeah. we have, but so I went to look at it. We, we had all kinds, we had all kinds of hawks, all kinds of owls, and all that. And then we came on around this one set of pens, and we had two bald eagles. You should have a piece of chicken. Well, I had that sandwich before. Uh, where's the Pepsi? Grab me a can of Pepsi. This is actually nice stuff. Thanks, Mark, for the vodka. That was nice. Thanks, Frank. Thank you for the other time. And Stan, you haven't brought anything yet. You're an asshole. <laughs> I'm, I'm only fucking with you, Stan. You're gonna, no, you can't have chips. Chips are left for us. Not, they're, they're not, they're not, uh, they're not, what do we call them? Are those covered bridge? They're not covered bridge. Covered bridge? You never had covered bridge. Oh, nothing. And still waiting, yes. Howdy to all, yes. North Carolina. They are just about 100 meters a minute right now. A classic young bird race. Right distance and right speed. Seven great performances, says Mike Vandriak. Mike, are you going to come next week? Stan, can Mike come with you next week if he drives to your house? If, if he drives to Centennial and QEW. Centennial and QEW. Stan's going to bring you at the, Super Center. at the Super Center. Call Stan. Stan, call Mike and bring Mike down because you want to know what Mike's doing right now? He's lacking in his performances. He'd love it here, Mike. Well, of course he would. He could be on the show, Mike. And where that, where that hat that you wore in Florida? You know that one? That's mine for next week. I, I wanted to make a paragraph on the job. What is the smock? Yeah. <laughs> I love him. Oh, as we wait for the villagers to come. Now, now, hey, Ricky. Yeah, they're not together on their own, ripping, 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 ripping. They were like a hundred yards across uh, between the birds. Yeah, just push. You know, and you take a look. Mike Green's bird, your bird, those, we looked at two. 
The molt, I give it a zero out of ten. And I'll tell you, that's heart. Rip, rip, rip. Good pigeon. Those five eye sets. They just blow everybody else's away to molt. So, so Mike Vanderyak says, I was at John Lehman's yesterday, saw two East Course races. That's Lucy. She's my girl. Mike, we've invited you to come, and Stan's going to drive you so you can save on gas money. By the way, stop at the beer store and pick up Stan six beers. Hey, hey, Stan, the next thing, the white one will come. She likes you. <laughs> Stan, or uh, uh, Frank, have you done anything with cats before? By the way, Frank. <laughs> Mark's so nervous he's knocking his phone over. <laughs> You're back in it for another week. Been gone for three, back for a week, gone again for three. Mark, I'm flying. So, Mark, you can probably catch up with hey. uh, those other ones that we got there. If they come. Good. No matter what. Go ahead, take one. Take one. You'll like it. No, just take an, I'll give you an answer. Take one. Send her home. You'll like her. Oh, it's good. Don't worry, Frank. Okay? Soup's better. You like rare, more rare chicken. Oh, yeah. Sure she does. Yeah. We got... Well, you can make lasagna on Monday, and if you want to serve it to somebody, no, Saturday, Sunday, serve it. Just all of a sudden, she just. As we wait. Hey, guys, I got to say something. It's nice this year to have people here. Every year, it's mostly only Frank. It's better to have people here. So thanks for coming. And you know what? I wish that all the people around us would participate and come. You come and we'll we'll have fun. We'll put the food on. We'll put the booze on. Have a good time. We're all, we're all trying to race. And have fun. Test. It's testing. I am testing before the test. Stan. Watch out! Look at here's Cheddar. Here's Ch look, Cheddar's going in. Go! Come on! You want to scare them? Then they hear the sound of the. Frank, when you're done with your chicken, give it to me. I'll give it to Lucy. She'll take it. Mark, are you a winner? Lucy, come. I give him one scoop. Whatever you had out there, give him another one. No. If you guys want to put the soup back on to rewarm it, you let me know. It takes 10 minutes. Nah, I know, but you got to have soup at a certain temperature. And we got more in the house, so you whatever you want, don't be shy. Mike Vanderyak says he seen Stan making lingerie when he was 15 years old. Wonderful. Wonderful. I was being used as a slave laborer. Actually, just for people who couldn't hear, Stan was being used as a sex slave laborer. 
Uh, have you ever noticed how skinny Stan is? He tries it all on to make sure it fits. All right, good job, Frank. <laughs> hey, hey, Ricky. Now we see the fog. Now we see the fog. Now we're going to see the fog. Those birds went over or they pushed up a bit more and went through it. The other ones, they're in it. So you say 623. I say now we're going to wait a while. And here we go. Tell Stan I want a job. Will wants a job. Well, actually, Stan is. Uh, Stan just said to me, he went like this with his hands. He's looking for someone to try the lingerie on. And Will, if you're willing, Stan's going to dress you right up. And again, Stan takes a lot of photos and gets it out there. Like, share, and subscribe, guys. <laughs> hey, you know when you're old, eh? When you call them underpants. <laughs> Square pants. Here, Luce. Come. Here. Luce. They're not cover bridge. <laughs> Mark's gonna. Hey, guys. Some pigeon guys drink. Some pigeon guys smoke. But Mark Carnwell's eating the stress away. <laughs> Just letting you know, so you didn't think his phone was off. Ryan. Okay, hold on. So Will Will says Will says Stan, he's willing to work with you. Are you gonna private fit him? No. Uh, Stan just said. I love to get get into all the nooks and. Ricky Seven Blue. Hey guys, you got to remember, hey, Ricky's got HDRD, eh? You can't count him. Frank, I want you to do your impressitation of Ricky of Ricky clocking pigeons. Go ahead. Watch this, guys. This is Frank live on Ricky. Come on. Come on. <laughs> hey, you got Wait. Ten thousand dollars he's waiting for. How many blue bars are in the race? Two. Is that yours? Frank's sitting here watching. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh shit guys this is what it's about don't you ever be so insulting Well, oh, no, we're into the fog right now. <laughs> and, and you want to know what's so amazing? You can you can see it in the pigeons. Those pigeons aren't the nicest in the feathers, are they? They're not super stars. No, stands is still the same shit, loose, and I don't mean that in a, in a rude way. And you see my pigeons normally when we race them, darkened, completely different beast. No, but I mean, we spend uh, whatever hours on the road. That don't loosen the feathers, Stan. No, well, sure it's not going to loosen the feathers. It's going to 
Well, no, no, no. When Mark Carnwells comes home here today, if it does, she'll she'll be she'll be tight. She'll be super tight in the feather. Now, Mark, you see what you just did? You just kicked it. God damn you, Mark. Ah. You're all lazy. Oh, Mark's giving himself some luck. You know, fun fact, guys, I was here today and I caught Stan sitting on top of the moose. He was naked. Yeah. He was. I didn't want to say nothing. I'm going to say something, guys. Jerome, he is all about recycling. Look at him go. This is his fifth time up to the recycling bin. This is why he's here. You want a drink? Would you like a vodka? You're not drinking today. I've seen you've been drinking Arizona's iced teas. I'm going to make you one because you deserve one. Nope. He's getting a drink now. The hell with him. Hey, isn't it ironic on the race where Mark Carnwell... Isn't it, isn't it ironic? Mark Carnwell needs his bird and we're drinking his vodka with the skull. No... <laughs> Hey, Mark, remember the week we were here with Carlos and we were razzle-dazzling him? You're getting it. Hey, hey, Dad, do me a favor. What? Fill her up with ice. Yeah. Come on. Uh, it was the funniest thing. I drove all the way from Montreal, and he says to me, you see in between those two events, his pigeon lands. And the pigeon doesn't do this. And Ricky's going like this. Come on. Come on. <laughs> and all he's seeing is 10000 He's seeing 10000 He's seeing $10,000. And then the next morning he wakes up and he sees the worst thing ever. The bird that can beat him is at Ross McCarroll's house. <laughs> and he doesn't, he doesn't do the friend move and say, hey, Ross, that's a pioneer bird. Let it out. So Frank gets. You Canadians are crazy, Sheen. How... No, we're not fucking crazy. We're flying pigeons. Hey guys, hey guys, if you're on this program, you are Canadian. I don't give a shit where you're from. You're having fun. And for Opie, we know Opie's watching. That's what he does, Opie. And Mario, all of them. They all watch. Do you guys ever notice how good Ricky looks in those red shorts? Performance. Have you guys ever read what's written on the shorts? Read it. Stan, you're in an all different zone, okay? You're winning this shit now, okay? So who's our leader in average speed? B and G loft. An American's gonna do it. Pigeon oh, racing is supposed to be what? Pigeon racing is supposed to be fun. It's That's about third. Oh man, there's comments coming in. Right I didn't delete everything before the show. Stan, don't fall off the chair. We're going to have to come back on here if it deletes. Frank, watch how many chips you eat. The sodium will kill you. Oh, boy. I've heard it all now. And the cola. Oh, shit. How much do you think we were going to drink? Huh. Mark, Mark, I need you to stay in your zone over there. Hey, Mark, I'll tell you, last night my dad put your bird through on the camera. When he handled it, you know what he said? Fucking 10. He said a fucking 10. No, and I thought, man, it's nice. But we're into the fog right now. And dense as hell right now. See, you hear how Stan is, eh? When you're a winner, you see how it is when you're a winner. 
ignorant as fuck, eh? Yeah, I, you know what? I, you know what? You remind me of that short guy at the Borden Bond race last night. That was, uh, fee five full thumb. You gotta leave Helmut Huber's property. Blah 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 blah. That's all he did. Stan, you are not that way. You wanna know what kind of guy you are? I will say one thing. This guy, that's a Blue Jay guy. Let's settle down. Yeah, Mark needs white and blue together. <laughs> Seems like you're having a good party. Hopefully everyone does well. Heather, uh, Herman, yes, thank you. There's my parents. Yes, they're my parents. I know. Oh, oh, oh. And, and you know what, Ricky? The seven made the big, the the rest made a big mistake. And then they hit the east in the wind. These birds, that east didn't even bother them. They just went like lightning bolts. And young birds shouldn't be turned. Hold on. Question is, which wing is that? I can go and I can go and check them because they'll be. I'd say this wing here is turned up. Oh look! Look, those are Andy's birds. <laughs> well, Stan, if 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 you'll let me bother your bird here in a little bit, we'll check. Here, come, come. More so. See, this is why we have Stan here. It's not for comfort. It's not for feel. You know, it's for honesty. Ryan, listen, though, Stan. A bird, a bird doesn't fly like this, though. No, no but the wing, the wind's hitting it. All right, guys. I'm going to do something, and I think Mark's going to like this. I'm going to do, Stan, 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 I'm going to do something that Mark's going to like. Because it's a little bit of speeds unknown, we're going to disqualify the first seven birds. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh. Here, here, here. That's for you. You only you only get one though, eh? You're gonna need one. Yeah. Uh did Borden clock any birds yet? No. Nope. Borden hasn't clocked the pigeon yet. And I I tell you, I think Who? Who beats us? Yeah. Hold on. So yeah, it's ahead of us. That's okay. Yeah, well, they're further down, more wind, and more push to the fog. Hey, wait, they have more time to adjust. Yeah, of course. Oh, hold on. Hold on a second here. Hold on a second. Hold on. By the way, Borden was afraid to fly against Pioneer. You seen it yesterday on the camera. Yeah, but we didn't go to the same spot. We were well, of course. Listen, listen. Opie, De Silva, and Rhea, they made sure of this. And Hitler's wife, or uh, Helmet, Helmet's wife. Helmet. Hey. hey. They had to do six. Hey, they had to do sixty miles first, and I'm not against this. Hold, hold on, and let's be honest. Carlos ain't gonna win that race. Okay, wait. Unless Jesus is involved.
You can see Mark's being Mark's being aggressive now. Huh? Carla, watch the show. You watch the show. I don't know why. When you get a stray. We should, but yeah, it's for a race. Other than that, put her in the bin. Frank, I picked up a stray one time for you and I didn't even tell you. You know where it was? In Cleveland. Uh, the Borden Bond race, they wouldn't let us participate. And we flew uh, 60 miles shorter. The fog come on us closer. There's no excuse. We got beat there. That's fine. Well, hey, they, they, hey, how far past? How far from? Hey, Ricky, Ricky, how far from when you released till you hit the fog? How many miles did you drive? I am. Well, he told you. I went. It said the sign said Blackford, sixteen kilometers. I remember. So the birds only the birds only flew from Ingleheart to sixteen kilometers north of Blackford when they hit fog. 30 kilometers. So we can't judge this now. And you can see yeah, we're in. Well, we know one thing. The Karloff didn't win nothing to this. I'm not going to think. He did? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. All right, so he's got a shot at this one. Well, I, I don't know, because I looked at last year's results. Amazing when you watch the show. Come on. Well, actually, you know what? I have, at the end of the day, No, it's too far for him to reach. We're flying 1222. No. No, that's what we flew. What is he flying, Frank? Hey, Frank. Huh? Hey, Ricky. Ricky. We're only... 30 kilometers from the fog. We're flying 1222. Carl off, and Hold on. Hold on. We're, we're ahead. We're ahead if we were at that distance. Because our birds didn't have the chance to come on to the fog. Now, that's not an excuse. We still beaten. We are pigeon men. We are pigeon men. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he's pissed over there. If Elliot bites you, don't worry. He's Spanish. Huh? He's Jerome. It's not going to reach your ground. My problem is it drags. I'll make you one. Hey. We would I think we would have been close to them. We were a little further. But we're cl we're in the game. Uh, and I don't, I don't think he's going to be up there. He doesn't know about distance racing. Put, to put the fat in it. You know what's nice to see, though, that Carl Loft's got a benzene clock, thanks to us. No, no, no. You got it after the deal we created. The only reason why I got my hair.
Well, Frank, you should have just called. You should have just called. Frank, you should have just called me. Frank, you should have called me. I'd have got it for you. You say you buy it from fucking Ryan. Palata. Was he cheap? Then he goes, and then he says, uh, I said, why didn't your dad, because he's looking for his dad, right? His dad didn't buy a clock at that time. I said, how come your dad didn't buy one? And the dealer said, why? Oh, everyone's dad dies. Anyways, guys, as we wait, and as we watch, and as we play, you can see the board there. What? I, I had multiple deals, and people wouldn't support it. You know what I? You know what? And I and I, I am still, I'm, I, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still pissed off at you, Frank. And I'm still pissed off that you bought it from them. No, I am pissed off because you want to know why? No, no, no. No, I did the fucking bitch work. I did the bitch work. So, hey, I'm going to get you measured in my garage door and then get fucking Mark to put it in. Hey, listen. Frank, I love you, but I'll say it as it is. Stan, I think you should leave here now. You've had too much fun today. <laughs> uh, okay. So the cumulus clouds are over here. The serious clouds are over there. Stan? The serious ones are over there. Okay. So that means the cumulus are here. Serious ones are right here. Then the tropical clouds. I love I love to just go off the air and just watch pigeons. Uh, I feel guilty for all the spectators. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Smoked out. See, those wings are curved. Come on. Come on. All right, let's look. Frank, you really kicked him when he's down. All right, in the next race, Blue Ribbon. Stan taking the lead. And, and Mark Carnwell gets a bit more angry. Okay, hold on. I'm not shaking your hand because I don't like you. <laughs> Good job, eh? Good job. What's the average? Look at the average. No, the average is for the individual birds. Look at that bird, though. You own the average. You bought the bird. I bought the bird. Can you tell me where that bird is in the average? I think we have a new leader. 39 was ahead of Blue Ribbon. So you're still in the lead ahead of him. So right now he's in third. Second and third. Stan. Dan's done a lot of drugs in his life, eh? And he made women's lingerie. Plus, he fitted out Frank Eichhorn with some lingerie for himself. <laughs> petite. Petite. Oh. Stan's feeling good. <laughs> we might get a moment where Mark Carnival is going to pretend he's Mario De Silva and knock Stan pretending he's Ryan out. <laughs> and I'm going to have a potato chip. The hell with these all. <laughs> What flavor is this?
Oh, okay. Want to go? I How much? Still beats us with all of us. He's in Brampton. He trains hard. Teaching the brain. I said, do you mind if I just let my birds go? Like, what point did that the one year he didn't fight club? You're almost there, Stan. From the duck farm or the cornfield? All righty. Now, now, Stan. Well, Can you feel it? You need Frank a drink? No, Oh, yeah, I got from Utah. My soup's a tan. Mm -hmm.
Well, guys, we're going to wrap this up, I think. Bird, birds have come. Mm -hmm. I'm starving. Congratulations to Mike Green. And hey, congratulations to the board. They got some birds. Good job on them. 